I'm Julie Tracy. And I'm Mike Tracy. And uh, we are the founders of the Julie and Michael Tracy Family Foundation. Uh, the Julie and Michael Tracy Family Foundation was created by my husband and I to address challenges facing young adults with autism. Our vision is to create fulfilling, community integrated lives for this really underserved population. Um, the foundation began with our son John, who is now 21 years old and who was diagnosed with autism. I'm, my name is John Tracy and my parents started the foundation. My mom is pretty much like the head of it, but my dad still helps out, but like, it started because I have autism, so it's to help people like with autism find like living solution spaces and like jobs, um, opportunities. When John was hospitalized at Rush during the summer of 2011, we really, he, he had a near-death experience. We almost lost him. And so I think the foundation has really relieved us of that burden. Um, I think it's crystallized our planning. Um, it's given us tremendous hope. Um, when we see the response to what we're doing, how excited people are about what we're doing, we've met it's completely changed our lives. We have met so many people in the city. We have so many new partnerships, the Chicago Botanic Garden, the Illinois Medical District, Have Dreams in Evanston. Um, we've just met the most incredible people and we are so excited, I think, just to keep on going and, and you know push this through to its completion. I am a licensed clinical social worker and I work as the outreach director for the Autism Assessment Research and Treatment Services Center at Rush University Medical Center. We are partnered with the Julian Michael Tracy Family Foundation trying to create meaningful vocational opportunities for young men and women with autism and to help them transition into more independent lifestyle. We at the Art Center at Rush, which is an autism program at Rush University Medical Center, work closely with them to serve the needs of young adults with autism as they transition out of the school system at age 22 and into a more independent life. We have five initiatives in 2013. One of them is a new pilot residence called Project 1212 right in the heart of the University Village neighborhood near Rush. Uh, we are sponsoring an urban vocational garden that wrapped up in October that was a tremendous success. We served 20 young adults with autism in an urban horticulture project where we measured their productivity and independence. They succeeded all of our wildest expectations. Well, the other thing, during the summer we had like, a garden going, you know, an urban garden, and that was pretty cool because I didn't, wasn't really that into gardening until then, but it was a really positive experience. The good thing about the foundation is it's not just about me, it helps me get involved with other people in similar situations and helps me get used to the community. We are trying to help solve the problem of autism in Chicago. Uh, our residence, uh, 1212 West Flournoy, uh, as Julie mentioned, is, is just a pilot. The house is not just a residence for uh, three, three young adults, but it's intended to be, um, it's intended to interface with the community. We're hoping to sponsor programs there, um, cooking classes, for example, and other things that would uh, produce better outcomes for these individuals. I have high hopes for the future of autism. I think that we see a stigma going away. We recognize that this is not necessarily a horrible disease. It is people thinking differently, people's brains being different than a typically developing brain. Because like, it helps me, like I've got like, more experience, like I'm taking a college class now too, and also like I have some, I, like, I have some jobs at school. It's just like, it's giving me a lot more opportunities to do things like improve my, like, to, like get more knowledgeable about jobs and like just like working with other people. I just, like, I just really appreciate what mom and dad are doing and like it's good that it's not just about me, it's like I can help other people like me too. John is now doing very well, he's 21, he's in school. He's uh, developed into a very nice young man uh, and we're very, very proud.